Hi, this is Vicki with the Paper Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the United States, and I am so happy to be here with you today. I'm bringing another free video tutorial for you, and it is such a pretty card. We did this at card class back in the first of August, I believe, and um, it, it was such a fun card to make, and everyone just had a blast doing it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm going to be using Free as a Bird stamp set, the um, uh, Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. I'm using Happy Birthday from Here's a Card, and I'm going to use the Crackle Paint along with my die cutting machine. So we got a lot to do, so let's go ahead and get started playing. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, Crumb Cake as my card base, and it is cut at four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half. So I'm just going to fold that together and burnish that real quickly and I'll set it aside. Then I have one piece that is five and a half, no, five and a quarter by four and another piece that's five and a quarter by four. One is for the inside and one is for the outside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Stamparatus and I've taken the foam part out because I'm using this uh, thicker uh, rubber stamp and I've played I've already figured out where I wanted it to be and I pla I'm placing my paper right here and then I'm just gonna whoops then I'm just going to um, ink up my um, stamp here and what I'm gonna do is put a, a, a stamp pad under it or a stamp case under it so that it's a lot easier to get stamped up there we go now I'm just going to fold that over and just kind of rub it along. Some people do the rubbing thing. Some people do CPR. I do a little bit of all of it just to make sure. Now one of the lovely things about the Stamparatus is if it didn't get good coverage, you can ink it up and redo it again. But it did, it got great coverage. So let's put that away and we will do our little peekaboo hole with it. Okay, I brought in my die cutting machine. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hole in the card. And um, I'm using the stitched nested frames. When I created this card, I did so with the thought in mind that it was kind of like a tree, even though it's crackled paint and, paint and I probably should be and it's on my list. I want to get the birch background, but I don't have it yet, so this works great also. But I wanted to I wanted it to look like you were peering through um, a hole in a window or a hole in a tree or whatever. So I'm just going to place that down, and then I'm going to just run that through. I'm also going to use the uh, designer series paper and I'm going to make a uh, stitched I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut out a stitched nested label with that as well and it will fit just inside that hole okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp up my little flower and my leaf so I'm going to use Black Memento and just going to stamp it in there. And then I'm going to use Black Memento for my leaves as well, just like that. And then I'm gonna color them in. So to color them, I'm going to use um, Light and Dark Flirty Flamingo and Light and Dark Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to start with my darker color first and just kind of do around um, the different accent marks. Stampin' Up! is so great when they create their flowers or their stamps, any of their stamps. They give you lines that create um, image and depth and I don't know. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but interest maybe. I don't know. So that's what I'm going to do with the darker color. Just kind of go around where I feel like there would be added dimension. And I'm going to go in with a lighter color and with these alcohol markers it's able to just kind of smear that that 
ink around and cause it to um, spread and you see a much more of a dimension to it and I love it. My phone is on silent. You may hear it vibrating at the moment. I get so many telemarketer calls and I can't stand it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> enough about that. I'm also going to take some Daffodil Delight and just kind of go in the middle of it in there. Right in there, just to kind of add a little bit of, of uh, interest to it and color. Um, by the way, whenever you're using your blends, you always want to stamp your image in Black Memento. Um, because that it won't um, it won't spread the ink won't spread that way all right so I'm taking my dark granny apple green and I'm going along the lines that Stampin up already provided the veins of the leaf and I'm just gonna go back over it Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cut, fussy cut around these. So basically, um, I like to leave a little bit of extra of the white around it because I, I, I want to keep the integrity of the image. And it kind of looks like you actually used a die on it whenever you do that. And when you fussy cut, you don't move your, your arm all, and hand all over the place. I don't know if you remember in kindergarten, we would just get our hand rotated all over the place when we were cutting things out. No, what you do is you rotate your paper to your scissors, just like that. And it makes it go faster, it's easier to do, and, um, and it doesn't look like you're flying with your elbows flapping all over the place. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna speed through this. Okay, let's assemble our card. I've, I've already stamped happy birthday here. And what I'm going to do is I am taking this piece here and I'm just gonna place it, um, gonna place it right here to make sure that I have it in the right place. And I'm gonna glue that down. So look how pretty that paper is. When we did this class, I had some who actually did the keys instead. Of, of the flowers. I love that about class that everybody has their own twist and their own style. Some people want to want to copy it exactly the way you did it and some people will just want to do their own thing and I encourage that. I'm one of those who likes to do their own thing. So um, yay, go. I love that. Okay, wait a minute. I think I might have got a little, little cattywampus. Here we go. That's perfect. All right, now the way I'm, I want it to look as if we're looking through something. So I'm, brought, I'm bringing in these foam adhesive strips and um, basically you just peel off one side of it and you place it down like this and then you just tear off what you, what you don't need. So I'll just put that, looks like I need to tear a little bit more off there. It's gonna show, okay. I'm going to add that right there to that piece rather than, than waste any of it. Add a little bit more right here. This, this is really helpful to do this rather than using a ton of dimensionals. It works really well. And, and it works really well for shaker cards as well if you're making a shaker card. It seals it off so that the uh, sequins or whatever it is that you put inside the, the, the area, and one of these days I'm gonna make a shaker card, but um, it really, it seals it off so that the, um, the loose things that are in your shaker card do not come out. So, I think I got too much. All right, so there, I'm gonna start peeling this off and I'm just gonna place it on my card. All right, I'm just gonna line up this stitched nested frame like so and just place that over the top of it. 
Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of measure about how, where I want that. I think I want that to go uh, right about there. So I'll just trim this off to be about like that. And I think I actually want that to be a little smaller. I just grabbed a piece of a scratch. So I'm going to cut this down real quick. Okay, that's about as wide as I want it to be. So I'm going to place some dimensionals on the back of that. I'm going to place this here. And then I'm going to use a mini dimensional on the back of this. I'm going to glue this right onto it onto the back of this. I think I'm going to go this way this time. Well, I took my dimensional off because it was right where I needed to be for this. So I'm just going to put that right back there on top of it. And I'm going to grab a leaf from there and use a glue dot. I love glue dots. So you just press it down, pick it up, and there you go. I'm going to place it right up under the flower so that you can't see where it joins at. The last thing I'm going to do is to put an embellishment in the middle of that flower. So I'm going to use one of my metallic pearls. I'm just going to put that right in the middle just to bring some interest to it. Isn't that a beautiful card? So, so pretty. And, and super easy to make as well. Um, I'm gonna, I'll do the inside at a later date, but I just wanted to show you how easy it was to create that and how to put it together. Um, I love that crackle paint stamp. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like it, liked it, just hit subscribe ring the little bell and you'll get notice when I have other videos coming out. If you need a stamping up demonstrator and you would like a catalog, just contact me through the email address that will be at the end of this video. Thank you so much and have a great day.